Hey this is Reddit Stories. I am reading stuff. Today we will be continuing with r slash Revenge. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Now sit back and enjoy the stories. Hey, come look at this. About 25 years ago, my mother had to have an operation on her stomach. They kept her very doped up. One day, in this drugged state, she overheard to people outside her room talking about boring surgery on boring patients. She thought they were talking about her. So she decided to not be boring. Her stomach was stapled shut, and the staples were not up against her skin at the very top. She called me and asked for some very specific things. I thought she was going to mend someone's coat, or scrubs or something. She is amazing with a needle and thread, and it was not uncommon for her to want to fix something for you, and generally it was a very fast repair. Nope. I get there with the box of supplies, if she finds one person to mend for, others always follow. I did wonder why she wanted a selection of my beads and fancy shaped buttons, but whatever. She grabs the box and starts lifting up her hospital gown. She put beads and buttons on every single staple. I tried to stop her, but that wasn't possible. Rounds were shortly after she was done, and I had called my father to come down for them. It was too funny to exclude him. He showed up at the hospital just before the doctors got to her rooms. As usual at that time, I had to go outside to wait, but my dad was in the room. A minute or two after the doctors go in, I hear this loud laughter. Then one of the junior doctors runs out and calls every doctor in the hospital to come look at this. We are in room XXX. They laugh but then ask her why she sewed buttons and beads on her staples. She responded with, I heard two people talking about boring patients with boring surgery. I didn't want to fall into that category, so I made it all pretty for you. Two junior doctors got super quiet when she said this. They were not referring to her, but having even one patient here them was uncalled for. They got taken outside to a lounge and they got chewed out. We couldn't hear what they were saying, but we heard yelling from a room I know was the staff lounge. My mom was asked to keep the buttons and beads in her staples until the next day. Then after a steady parade of people asking to see her work, her doctor made her take them out. Every doctor who came in was laughing. The two junior doctors apparently spent hours on projects no one wanted to do. If you enjoy this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to help us make more videos. Possession is 9 per 10 of the law. Apologies if this belongs elsewhere. This was a long time ago, in a Galax Air, state far far away. My stepmother at the time was a woman who was part of a large church that is headquartered in Utah. Suffice it to say this woman was, interesting. She forbade anyone from drinking caffeinated beverages, and would throw away any sodas she found, even Sprite, despite the fact that it has zero caffeine. She refused to buy anything that could be considered a treat, such as cookies, except for herself. She continually had missionaries come to the house and try to get me to convert to her belief system. I was pretty firm in my beliefs at the time, so I enjoyed the debates I had with the missionaries, she of course thought I was being blasphemous, and said she would pray for my soul, and would have my father baptized into her church after he died, who knew you could anoint cadavers? We had many disagreements over things, and I enlisted in the army to get out of that situation as soon as I graduated high school. While I was at basic training, Fort Lost in the Woods, State of Misery, my father had apparently realized he was married to an interesting person and told her it was best if they went their separate ways. He thought it would be amicable, boy was he wrong. He came home the next week to find she had taken almost everything out of the house, the brand new car my father had bought with his bonus, and moved into an apartment, spending all the money in their account. My father was left with a 15-year-old station wagon they had bought to move. When I finished training, I came home on leave before reporting to my first duty station, and my father picked me up at the airport in the beater station wagon. I asked why he was driving this car, and he told me that apparently possession was nine-tenths of the law at that time, so it looked like it would stay that way. He was rather bitter about it, of course, and decided to show me the luxury apartment she was living in at the time. We drove by the place, very nice, three pools, sauna, tennis courts, all the bells and whistles. All of a sudden my father slammed on the brakes, there was his brand new Chrysler LeBaron convertible. I told you this was long ago. He said, I still have a key to that on my key ring. You can see where this is going. He parked the station wagon next to the LeBaron, and checked, the key still worked. 
So we quickly transferred everything out of the station wagon into the LeBaron, transferred everything from the LeBaron into the station wagon, and drove away in the LeBaron. When the divorce was finalized a few months later, my father kept the LeBaron. Hit the subscribe button for more daily Reddit content and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded. Also if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, it really does help the channel. If you have any ideas, suggestions let us know in the comment section. See you in the next one.